welcome back to my channel, Curbs Dreamland, where anything is possible if you just believe. Today's video is a quick video on my number one must have for hospital overnight bag. So it is ideal to pack your hospital overnight bag about four to six weeks before your delivery day. But if you're anything like me, you're pretty last minute, but I always get the job done. If your water breaks or, or you find out you're having an unscheduled induction, I would say grab you some VEET. If you can't see your feet, VEET while you get your hospital bag complete. I like it. Everybody should start off with a hospital bag. Really doesn't matter what it is. I got this from Ross. It was about $35. Pretty cute. So let's get started on my number one thing that I put in my hospital bag that I think everybody should put in theirs. Number one, a your own bath towel. This is very important. Like if you want to be comfortable after you get out the shower, a bath towel is definitely a must have. If you stayed in the hospital before, you know that their bath towels are the size of a oversized washcloth, which is just ridiculous, you know? So bring your own bath towel. And you might as well pack a wash rag, you know, just to make the set complete. My second must have is an extension cord. Um, I got this a double pack from Amazon for about, I don't know, $5.99. This is great for, you know, plugging in your charger because the outlets are so far from your bed, you know, the extension cord works really well. And if you have an iPhone, you know that that charger cord is pretty small. The third thing, I would just go ahead and get a little cheap pack of chargers just because you never know who's going to show up for support for you. And it's just a really kind of nice thank you to give them, you know, a little charger that they can charge to their phone up when they get there. So chargers, a set of chargers, probably like $7.99. My next thing is toothbrushes. It's also great to just go ahead and get a pack. If you go to the Dollar Tree, it's a dollar, get a pack. You never know who's gonna be there overnight with you. If your labor is more than like one day or so, you know, people are hanging out all day, just go ahead and grab a pack and then you have an extra one to give them if they wanna brush their teeth. And just a pack of toothpaste, it's great. I'm a bar soap type of person. Any bar soap, you know, bar soap costs maybe a couple dollars and just leave it there when you're done. Like it, it's done, you don't have to take it out. I think I got these from the Dollar Tree too, which you can just put like a little bit of your favorite lotion in here or shower gel that you wanna have. These are great for that too. Carmex is great. Uh, your mouth is gonna be dry. Are you gonna have to eat as ice and maybe a couple of sips of water? your lips are going to be crusty. So let's get some, let's get some, uh, let's get some Carmax. You can bring a couple of your own pads. Um, I would encourage you to use the pads that come from the hospital. They're bigger, they're free. I also did a video on postpartum pad pops. I will insert uh, a link here. Yeah, something like that. And they were great. They, everybody should make those for your recovery. They are the bomb. I would also put in a breastfeeding, breastfeeding bra. Um, I like the stretchy kind that's not like a bra. They're kind of like a sports bra, which is pretty great. So when you're pregnant, there's really no reason to buy maternity bra. I would just go ahead and buy breastfeeding bras just because your boobs are going to be bigger when you're breastfeeding. Even if you don't feel like you're going to breastfeed, you know, why not just get the breastfeeding bras? You know, it might encourage you to want to breastfeed. And if you do decide to breastfeed, guess what? You already have the bras. You know, if you just buy regular maternity bras, you know, they're just, they're pretty pointless. So I would just go ahead and buy breastfeeding bras if you have to upgrade your bra size during your pregnancy. Here's another must have. I love these underwear. I'll go ahead and open them. They're like maternity underwear. And if you can see like, that little part goes over your belly. So even, even though you just had a baby and your baby might be eight, nine pounds, your stomach is still gonna look like you're nine months pregnant. Just encourage everybody to go ahead and bring your maternity underwear. And these are great. I honestly, I still even wear them now. Bring you some house shoes. Uh, house shoes are great for the hospital. You know, when you're walking to the, from the bed to the bathroom. Um, House shoes are great. I also have these push socks, which were pretty cute. I forgot to wear them. 
so I'm giving them away now. Um, so they're slip resistant, kind of like the hospital socks, and they look really cute when you are, you know, getting ready to push, you know, your feet are in the air. And then you can just keep them on. They're slip resistant, so when you go to the bathroom, you're not slipping around. These are great and very cute. Pack you a robe. I love my robes. I got this little matching set for the baby. So we were twinsies. Actually, my mom got this out of this world very very cute if you have hair i would suggest pack a thing of hair ties again go to the dollar tree they're only a dollar pack them up a wig brush just if you if you have long hair bring your wig brush and a bonnet i don't know why i can't find my bonnet right now i must have took it out the bag but a bonnet is definitely a must-have don't forget your makeup bag. This is probably one of the last things that goes into your hospital overnight bag. It is a makeup bag. I mean, you might as well look a little cute. Even though you're going to be looking whoop. And make sure you include some lashes. Got these lashes from Destiny Dye. And they're great. You know, a lash can make you just feel very lavish. Fabulous even though you probably don't look very fabulous, but putting on a lash does change your whole demeanor, I feel like. A lash, just you just go to fabulous. It's like being instantly fabulous when you put on a lash. Maternity pants, just for when you go home. These are great. Um, nice and stretchy. If you didn't buy any maternity clothes, maybe just buy one pair of pants for your last trimester and you know your trip home, so you can look a little decent. And so, uh, this is an abdominal binder or a waist trainer, whatever. I would encourage you to put this on probably 24 hours after birth. God awful abdominal massages. I would just go ahead and put that on to kind of compress your stomach back down to its normal size. And lastly, but not least, I would bring a journal of some sort. I like my passion planner. I really need to get back to using it, but... It, it is great. You can jot down some moments that you want to remember, some really great nurses that you had that you might want to send a thank you gift or thank you for the people that were there for you during this time. You can jot down some feelings or your experience or write down your experience after you had the baby. Um, journals are great in general. I think that's it for what's in my hospital bag. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notifications when I do drop new knowledge. You'll thank me later. You'll thank me later. You'll thank me later. You'll thank me later. You'll thank me later.